Why? I can't literally do YouTube anymore. I literally cannot speak. Whoa, let's not be yellow. Let's tune back in. All right. Wow, I genuinely look so pale. My hair looks good though. Curls pop it. On this channel, we do beauty. On this channel, we do beauty, business, and lifestyle videos, all luxuriously, of course. Today's video is a beauty video. It is sponsored by Merit Beauty, so shout out to them. We will get to those details in a minute. But before we get into the video, two things I need you to do. Number one, hit the red subscription down below. You're already here, you might as well join the family. Number two, the bell notification, so you can see every time that I post. I know it's been a minute. I know you guys might not be getting notifications just because the algorithm is off right now for my channel. So make sure to hit that bell notification. Very important. Very important. So today we're going to be doing a chit chat. Get ready with me. As you see, I look like a naked mole rat right now. It is a pool day. It is Saturday the 25th. I am filming this video, possibly losing a very good spot at the pool at my complex for you guys. So make sure to give this video a big thumbs up too, but it's just going to be a simple get ready with me. Usually I would just put on some sunscreen, put my hair in a bun and go outside but lately on the weekends there's been some good looking some good looking tenants okay at my complex we're gonna put on some extra products here today and the extra products that we will be featuring today is by Merit Beauty I will have Merit Beauty right here they are a clean beauty brand we love clean beauty products they are also at Sephora and online we also have a 10% discount code I will have that link down below so you can enjoy 10% off of your purchase but I've worked with them before I love the Merit products and like I said you can either go on their website or you can go to sephora.com and purchase or in store as well so we have a few products I will be featuring today in our chit chat get ready with me and let's just get right into the video I know you guys are gonna ask me so before we start talking I've already exfoliated cleansed and toned my face so one that I use today is literally cinnamon and raw sugar I have sensitive skin this works for me if you have very super sensitive like this would even break you out use honey and cinnamon trust me I always use this to exfoliate probably two to three times out the week so I use that went in with my skin SkinCeuticals this is the simply clean gel love this so much this is what it looks like right here you can literally get this on amazon but my esthetician dr kim she put me onto this love this and then i toned with the pca skin nutrient toner it smells like pumpkin i'm not a big fan of that this also is a really great product and i highly recommend and i just put it on a little cotton pad and here we are i do look like a naked bull rat so excuse me we are in my bathroom i could have did like a little cute setup but let me tell you something this is the real deal folks okay this is how i get ready every single day in my bathroom and that's what we're doing today and it's gonna be okay i have some notes on my phone just because it's been a while since i filmed and i feel like we need to talk about a lot of things before we do any other content here on this channel i've been gone for a minute i mean what's new at this point but it's okay let's talk about italy first because that's like the number one question i've been getting and then we will kind of go into skincare and i'm just gonna pull this out just so i don't have to keep going back and forth because that'll just be easier i keep all my skincare products <laughs> There's a lot of skincare products, but I use a lot of different products for different things. So I'm just going to pull this down and I will be letting you know what I'm using. So I'm going to go in with my Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. I absolutely love this stuff. It is pricey. Okay, it is pricey. But this stuff right here, I take a few drops and I do my Goisha. I don't really know how to say it, but you know, like the little jade roller thing. I do two of them like that if i'm looking over here it's because i'm looking in my mirror the viewfinder is great but like i can't be going outside looking crazy so we need to look at both these are the two rollers i'll be using today so one is a regular goisha jade roller one is a vibrating roller that does the uh lymphatic drainage just as well so if you're new here or you don't know i went to italy for two weeks it was a fabulous trip I got so many questions about my trip to Italy and everything that I bought and everything like that. Also, I do this just so I don't get wrinkles. I don't know if that really helps or not, but I just never want wrinkles in life. So here we are. But I went to Italy for two weeks. I stayed in Rome. I went with my sister, my mother, and a few other unmentionable people. <laughs> for multiple reasons but it was it was a girl's trip i don't think i will ever be doing a girl's trip ever again i'll just say that and leave that to that i really like traveling with my family for a reason and um 
girls trips just just aren't me especially when it's like friends of friends it gets ghetto and it just it wasn't my vibe but overall we had a really good time we stayed the full two weeks not everybody stayed it most people stayed like a week but we stayed the full two weeks if you guys can see this is literally vibrating right now i'll have this link down below because you can get this on amazon but this is how i get my face See that drawing? Snatched. But we went to Italy for two weeks. We stayed in Rome. We stayed at the NH Collection Hotel. It's a five-star hotel. It's absolutely fabulous. Absolutely loved it there. I would probably only stay there when we go back. Oh, it's just so fabulous there. Yeah, we stayed there for two weeks and it was fabulous. Absolutely loved it so much. I love staying in Rome. Rome's my favorite city like in the whole entire country of Italy. And I've been to pretty much every city, like major city in Italy. Um, for this trip, we stayed in Rome and we were right by the train station. So we were able to go to Naples and Venice and Florence. So we really did like central Northern Rome. We're going back in January for my birthday. Fingers crossed, there's no, you know, panini going on. And we're going to do more Northern Italy. And then we're probably going back in May and then we're going to do like southern Italy, like Capri, Sorrento, Amalfi, Positino, those places. This trip was a shopping trip just because I haven't been to Italy like on almost two years. Next thing that we're going in with is our fresh vitamin nectar glow juice. This stuff is amazing. I literally linked it on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Insta, you totally should because I've been linking stuff. So you guys can directly go and purchase like the things that I've been loving. I use pretty much like half the dropper. This is like relatively pricey. It's like 40 bucks, I think, for two ounces or an ounce. Whoa, it feels so good. It smells so good. But honestly, this stuff right here just makes my skin glow. Yeah, we went to Rome. I did a lot of shopping. Like, I did a lot of shopping. Like, it was absolutely like... It was amazing. I won't even say it like insane. It was, it was, it was amazing. Next thing I'm doing is the True Skin. This is the vitamin C facial serum. You can get this on Amazon. Great serum. Any vitamin C serum will really work depending upon how high end or how low end you want to go. One time I spent $198 on a one ounce jar and I would never do that again. Ever. Please learn from my mistakes. Like a 40 ounce jar of vitamin C serum is going to be just fine. So yeah, Italy was really great. Made a lot of connections. If you haven't seen my love letter to Italy, you should totally watch that. I just had a blast. I'm going in with the Cetaphil eczema. Um, this is the soothing moisturizer. This is a heavy moisturizer with a light, thin formula. So it's heavy as in very hydrating but it is pretty white on the skin. It's a lotion, so it comes out white, but it doesn't leave a cast for all of my melanin girls, just to let you know. Um, and I love Cetaphil products. Like, I absolutely adore them so much. But yeah, Italy was a, it was a great trip. I did not, wow, I'm smacking. I did not vlog because I just chose to be present. I chose to be with my family. I chose to make memories and I just didn't want to have the camera out, you know, every single second of the day, like, ooh, redo this, re-eat this pasta so I can get the angle. I didn't want to do that. I just, it wasn't, it just hasn't been my vibe, okay? So, and, and I don't know, the first six months of this year, I just haven't really been consistent with posting on um, Instagram and, and social media platforms and YouTube. And I'm, I apologize, but at the same time, I really don't because I made a choice and I just chose to be present and make memories over progress and algorithm and you know stats next thing we're gonna go in with is eye cream this is really important especially when i'm in the sun now i'm gonna have sunglasses on i have no intentions on taking my sunglasses off but this is the glossier bubble wrap i've been using this for years it's a really great oh good catch it's a really great lightweight eye cream eye cream is honestly just glorified moisturizer but I like it. But yeah, I just chose to be present and I had a blast in Italy. I made a lot of new friends that are out there. I have like a jeweler out there now. And also um, Angie from Angie's Roma is literally, she's a doll. And if you're ever there, go to her restaurant because she's fabulous and her whole family, um, her brother and her whole entire family is just fabulous. Like go. But yeah, I made a lot of connections and I just had a blast and I just didn't feel the need to be with my camera every second of the way. Maybe for my birthday, I'll do it that way. Maybe I won't, I, I'm not quite sure, to be honest. But that was Italy. I ate a lot of food, I gained a lot of weight. Uh, we walked 70 miles in the two weeks that we were there. We tracked it, we walked 70 miles for the two weeks that we were there, which I think is absolutely like crazy. So for sunscreen, I'm using the Black Girl sunscreen. I love this stuff so much. It does not break me out. It doesn't have a cast and it's really, really great. So I think you should try it out. I'm using a good, like, quarter size goo glob of this stuff because I'm going to be outside for a minute but everybody's asking when are you going to post the hauls 
Okay, um, the hauls. I understand. I understand everybody wants the hauls, and yes, but you have to understand as well. That's a lot of editing. <laughs> It's been a lot of editing and honestly I have about three major, I think it's three fashion hauls. One is a um, luxury one, the luxury things that I bought. One's like an H&M haul, one's a Zara haul, and then one's like another one. It might be like three or four hauls, plus I think I did a grocery haul. I have to check the footage because it's been a while, but it's a lot to edit, but I'm going to get through it. So you guys have been requesting them. I'm going to post them out there, but just know for the next like month or two it's going to be a lot of haul fashion content but y'all requested it so i'm gonna give it to y'all so yeah that's pretty much italy i had a blast i have a lot of content you will be getting it i just needed a moment to like get myself together also i was away from work for three weeks if you don't know i was in italy for two weeks but i was off of work for three weeks so coming back after being off for almost a month i had to get my life together and trust me my family business my my money my dinero that comes first and then youtube the passions that come second sorry but that's you know just being realistic and speaking of dinero money i've been spending way too much of it if we're being honest so that's pretty much it for skincare hold on i always do this always i take the evian misting spray so good it's just literally water oh woo, but it just locks everything in like it's just fabulous so i've been spending a lot of money and I'm like not even saying that like in a bragging way. Like I wish I didn't spend as much money as I have. And I've just been living really carelessly. I feel like because the panini has been going on for the last two years and now everything's open without restrictions. I've just been out here like spending and I need to stop. So basically within the next month, um, just to tie in like a few topics. But at work, I got a promotion in my own company. I think that's pretty cool but i'm about to be a uh, director of hr which is like the head of hr human resources i'm already over a few things like administratively and like also like through our dietary programs with the city but now i'm taking on this as well so your girl is getting a raise more responsibility means more money but with that i'm going back on like a strict budget my strict budget is probably not like a strict budget for other people but just like monitoring my spending because I have been spending a lot of money and I just don't think that's always the, the smartest thing to do. So yeah, I'm just getting back to budgeting. What are we doing next for our skincare? Let's do eyebrows first because I feel like eyebrows and then we can kind of get into the merit products because that's kind of how I, I go. So my eyebrows are laminated. Shout out to Brittany. The Corsi Beauty is literally the love of my life. If you want to get your lashes done professionally or your eyebrows done professionally, I highly recommend De Corsi Beauty because I don't have any product on my brows and they're tinted, they're laminated, they're waxed, they're trimmed and she just keeps them so nice. So I will have Brynn's information down below. I'll also be using her products to do my eyebrows. I, I use them every single day. So the first thing that I do is I take a little spoolie. I have literally a thousand of these from Amazon and I just take a spoolie and I um, just put my eyebrows up they stay in place because they're laminated if you haven't got your eyebrows laminated highly recommend if you have no eyebrows literally lamination will give you eyebrows if you're like me and you already have thick full eyebrows get them laminated because they'll be so fluffy and cute and just magical so yeah i am just really practicing mindfulness with spending i'm only spending from my fun account which i'm usually really good with and i did even in italy i spent a lot of money in italy like oh my god but i had fun i really had fun and for me like i'm very frugal to be 26 like I'm very frugal and I never spend money on myself like I always spend it on experiences with people or like for people but like spending it on me I will literally go back and forth in my head like Sydney we don't need this we don't need to do this we don't need to spend this and I did like in Italy I had a blast okay like Hermes got my coins um I can't really talk and do eyebrows at the same time so just mind with me so I'm just really being more mindful of what I am spending because I just don't want to be out here like these young whippersnappers that I am, you know, in the generation of out here. I would never be broke. Like, I would never be broke. But at the same time, like, I feel like I can make wiser decisions with my money, with, like, investments and stuff. And there's just things that I don't need to do, like, impulse buys. Like, literally this week, I bought a pair of Hermes sandals, two bracelets, and an ice cream maker. Did I need that? Absolutely not. But I felt like I did at the point, in the moment. I, I felt like I needed it. We're just gonna be more mindful of that type of spending and just really stick into a budget because even with like food and stuff, I need to eat at home. Like I don't understand 
why I just feel like I need to go out every single night and eat because I don't I, I literally but I've kind of been good on that too like I can't I'm, I'm very hard on myself and I feel like I'm kind of all over the place with this tangent but I am really good at eating at home for breakfast and lunch because I'm at work so I, I've been meal prepping those meals but like for dinner I'll be like Eddie V's this Del Frisco's that oyster house here like and I just need to eat at home because I have food in the house and we need to practice that that's what I'm doing we are going to be smart budgeters for all of 2023 and furthermore especially these next six months I really want to especially now that I have this promotion going on um, and I can talk about it because I've known about it for like a while now probably the last six months we've been in discussion of it but like taking over HR is like a big deal because I'm literally over like payroll and rosters and scheduling and hiring and firing and all those things so like I'm I'm an owner of the company but like my responsibilities as an owner is just kind of like grown even more if that makes sense I'm taking on a stronger role if that makes sense but with that and having more financial freedom I just want to be stronger with budgeting stronger with minding my spending and also stronger with making more intentional and wise investments stuff like that that's actually going to make me money i'm taking the decorsi beauty this is their brow pencil and this is in the color midnight yes it doesn't have it on here but i know it by heart and it's a dual sided so one side is the pencil the other side is the spoolie i'm taking the spoolie i just do a line on the bottom of my brows because like i said i already get mine tinted and laminated so they're pretty much done but i just feel like the line when i take the spoolie and press it up it just makes it more crisp in my opinion that's what that's what i think at least so what else we've talked about italy we talked about my spending habits we've talked about my promotion at work and everything that's going on but we kind of talked about me eating more healthy in house like i said i have been um meal prepping my breakfasts and lunch that's helped me a lot also with being so close to downtown philly and having all of the food services that like DoorDash and you know Grubhub and, and Uber Eats and stuff like that that can bring you literally Park and Del Frisco's those are like really good restaurants in Philly right to your doorstep or your office in like 10 minutes that's dangerous so I've really been proud I'm taking a q-tip this is literally what I always do you can wet it a little bit and then I'm just kind of cleaning up underneath I literally do this every single day this is how I do my eyebrows every single day so meal prepping for me has really kept my weight in order because in italy i did gain some pounds and honestly before italy like i was just kind of on the fluffier side and i was like you know what i'm gonna go to italy i'm gonna have a blast and then when we come back we're gonna get it together and that's exactly what i did so i lost um originally i lost like 10 pounds i think right now i'm probably like in the seven eight area i've kept off which is great i want to go for another 10 just to be healthy i'm tall I'm five seven and i know that my heaviest weight was not in the healthy range and i feel like if i lose another 10 which gives me like 15 to 20 pounds like a sweet spot i'll feel comfortable with that so to keep off the weight i've just been doing no carbs no sugar or some weeks low carb low sugar and that's pretty much just a lot of protein fruits and vegetables i find i literally slimmed down so quick in one week i literally lost like 10 pounds like a full week i lost 10 pounds and a lot of it was water weight i know that a lot of that was just bloating but at the same time i notice i feel a lot better my energy is a lot higher when i'm on a low carb low sugar diet um or lifestyle whatever you want to say and in the summertime i also notice that i really don't eat that much as i do in the winter or the fall because it's hot outside when it's hot outside i'm west indian i love the heat but baby when it's hot i don't want to be eating like full chicken rice vegetables like i'm more into like salads or fruit in the morning for breakfast like lighter things so that really helps and i also count calories you guys know this if you're new here i do count calories if this is a trigger warning be careful um exit out this video if you have to but for me and my lifestyle calorie counting has always worked for me and just kind of like being mindful of what i'm eating to finish off the brows i'm going in with glossier this is their boy brow this is a staple product you probably heard of it already but i'm using the glossier and it is in the color black but yeah that's how i've been maintaining my weight i have been doing pilates i know pilates is such a trend now because of tiktok which is fabulous but with that pilates is really amazing i highly recommend i go to the one in philadelphia uh by solid core and um my friend jess i'll have her information kind of linked down below but she's a community manager and an instructor at the one in center city 
and you should, I'm not going to say like which ones I go to because I don't want like anybody kind of stalking me, but at the same time, Jess is really, really great. She will literally like help you and show you like how you need to do Pilates in the right formation so you don't hurt yourself, which I really appreciate. She literally like swings me around all the time and I love it so much because I know I'm not hurting myself. And with previous back and neck injuries from like previous car accidents, that's really important to me because I don't want to be jacked up furthermore at 26. So shout out to Jess. I will have her information linked down below. I literally need to make notes of who I'm linking because um, it's a lot of links I need to do. But I really enjoy Pilates. My goal, I've been going every single Sunday. I've been sick for the past week. I'm pretty sure I had the panini. I had the butt for like the third time, mind you. But I'm not quite sure. I didn't get, uh, the two tests that I took came back negative. So I'm not quite sure if I did or I didn't, but I didn't get a PCR test. I took two rapids. So it's up in the air, but I'm over it now. Okay, it's been like a full week, almost a full eight or nine days. So I'm, I'm okay now and I had to miss my two Pilates classes, but I've been taking them every single Sunday. That's like been my jam with Jess but my goal is to take it probably two, maybe three times a week if I'm feeling like super extra because Pilates, like I'm already seeing my little abs coming through, okay? And that's a big deal to me. Like I've never, I've always been pretty athletic. Like even in high school and in college, I've always just kept up with running. So I've been toned, but I've never had like abs, okay? And we're going for the Lori Harvey abs. Like not too sketched out, but like, we want them. Okay, let's move on to Merit Beauty. So we have a couple of products here. We have three that they sent me, shout out to them. The first one that they have is the Flush Bomb. So like I said before, uh, their products are clean, vegan, and cruelty free. And this is to swipe onto the cheeks and blend with your fingers. You can't mess it up. It's literally within the instructions that you can't mess them up. And I got this in the color Beverly Hills. So we're gonna do a little bit on the cheeks just to give us a little bit of a glow. Let me do a quick swatch for you guys. Well, this is pretty. This is pretty, I like this. So as you can see, it's a very sheer, like mauve color. And this is what the actual product looks like, which I love the packaging, the gold is so cute. So let's just kind of put it on. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, we like this. Nice and flush. A little bit on the nose just to give us a little bit of an it girl. <laughs> little sun a little rosy it girl look right here um, i'm gonna blend this out just like they said with the fingers so that's what i've been doing for working out my goal now that i'm feeling better and i'm kind of back into routine after italy and just getting back into work and stuff my goal is to do probably some type of cardio whether it be walking hit uh, my goal is to do some type of cardio probably like three times a week like two to three times a week and then do Pilates one to two times a week, maybe three, depending upon what the schedule is that week and honestly what's going on. That is kind of the goal that we're going for. We will see if that happens, but that's what I've been doing. So just to kind of summarize that, we'll move on to the next topic. I have been meal prepping, breakfast and lunch. I really haven't been doing dinner because it's the summertime, depending upon what's going on with my friends. There's Center City Sips now on Wednesdays. Like there's things in the week that I just, if I want to cook something, I will make it for dinner and I usually prep for like myself and another portion. So I have it for two days. Um, but breakfast and lunch has been a staple for meal prep. I've been doing low carb, low sugar, or some weeks if I'm really trying to trim up, no carbs, no sugar. Very heavy on the protein, the fruits and the vegetables. I've been eating light. So a lot of salads, a lot of fruit. It's hot outside. I don't like to eat super heavy. And also incorporating Pilates with cardio to stay toned, but also to keep the waist nice and trimmed and slim and snatched. So that's pretty much it what I've been doing for a healthy lifestyle and it's been working for me. I've kept the weight off right now. Like I said, I'm about seven pounds down um, and that kind of fluctuates depending upon if it's that time of the month or if you know I eat a lot of salt and I don't eat salt. Like I'm not a salt person. So I've never really had a sodium intake problem where I'm super bloated all the time because I'm not, I hate like the taste of salt. Doesn't mean my food ain't seasoned. Just means I'm not like a big heavy salt person. Let's get into this hair. So my hair has grown significantly. If you don't know, my hair was literally in a bob. Like it was like here not too long ago, maybe like a year, year and a half ago. And now it's like back down. It's like back down my back, like thick and full. Let's move on to the next Merit product. This product right here is our Day Glow. And I love this, it's a highlighting balm. Once again, you can use these products with a brush, with a sponge or fingers. Today we're going for a light look. So I'm gonna be using my fingers. This is in the color Citrine, which I hope I'm saying this correctly, but it's like a golden color. It's literally so cute, absolutely love it. Let's do a little swatch. Oh yes, this is giving gold, honey. This is definitely giving gold. We love to see that. So once again, I'm just gonna kind of put this on with 
the product applicator right here. Just put it on and then I'm gonna put it on the high points also of my face. I absolutely love this. I've gotten this product before and I have it in a lighter shade, but I like that this is a more of a golden one because I'm tan and I don't wanna be looking ashy. I wanna look golden at all times and it's just so pretty for the everyday. Like I absolutely love it so much. So yeah, my hair right now, um, I've been sick, like I said, for the last week. I've had my hair in two French braids literally for the last week because I was like, I'm not feeling good. I'm not gonna wanna deal with my hair and I didn't wanna get entangled and all that stuff. So I literally just took the two French braids out and this is what we got for today. And I'm going to the pool so it doesn't even matter. But um, my hair, I'm changing the color on Friday. If you would like me to vlog, that process i will actually do that so give this video a thumbs up and i'll do it but i'm changing the color comment down below what you think which color i'm changing my hair to do you think blonde do you think ginger auburn we're going back to like super jet black like what what do you gray what do you think we're doing because we're changing it up because literally on tiktok they were talking about um this is the tree hut sugar lips and the lip butter and then i'm also taking la girl lip plumper tinted um these two products i use all of the time they're so great and you can get these at Ulta uh, or online, but I use them literally every single day. Not that I even need lip plumper, but I just like how it makes my lips look and it gives like a little bit of a tint too. So I like using this as a base because it just kind of preps my lips for whatever combo we're doing for the day. I'm gonna let that set in and while we set in, we're gonna talk about hair. But basically in short TikTok, there was this video about this woman and she was talking about relaxers. I don't have a relaxer, I am natural. I have no intentions on getting a relaxer. Um, I've had bad experiences with them and perms, my hair's just a little bit, I know it looks very full now, but is a little bit too fine to get those it literally breaks my hair off so that's not me but the purpose of the tiktok was basically stating that you should do what you want with your hair and so many natural women that talk about oh you shouldn't do this you shouldn't color you shouldn't you know get um you shouldn't get perms or you shouldn't get relaxers or colors or whatever you want to do but it's so funny that like natural women always have their hair like usually in a protective style or something that is protecting their hair but they don't have their natural hair out but then you want to shame people that want to wear their natural hair in whatever variation, whether it be relaxed, permed, colored, that might break it off. And it's just kind of a contradiction. And I kind of agree, to be honest with you, as a natural woman, um, a lot of the time I wear like wigs or sew-ins or extensions and stuff because I don't want to damage my hair, but I never wear my hair out. So in my hair, as you can see, like it's beautiful. Not to toot my own horn, but it's just, it's hair. Like it's just not that deep. And I've always kind of had that mentality because if you know me on this channel, uh, you know this, but if you're new here, uh, I have no wrap for my hair. Like I will cut it, color it, bleach it, do what I gotta do to have whatever style I want. But in these last probably two years, I've been growing my hair back out. On Friday, July 1st, we're coloring it and I might have to bleach it and I might not. Still comment down below what you think I'm getting. I just gave you a hint. But even if I do, even if it breaks off, I need to trim anyways, cut it off. I rather have hair that I actually like love than like being so scared and keeping my hair in styles that are just like safe and not really loving my hair or feeling like my best self. It's just hair, it'll grow back. I promise you, if you get your ends clipped, if you keep it moisturized and you keep it in a style that you can actually maintain without like a lot of tension or heat, it'll grow. It's really not that simple. And you get your hair washed like frequently, like, and you scrub your scalp. Like the, it starts at the scalp, it ends at the ends. Make sure your ends are clipped. Make sure your scalp is healthy and clean. Your hair will grow. Trust me, as somebody that has grown their hair out multiple times, down to their butt, down to waist length. I do have genetics that are strong in hair growth. My mom's hair grows really fast. My grandmother's hair grows really fast. So I do have that genetic side of it. However, as somebody that has literally cut their hair to here, and now it's back, give me what it needs to give a rose so i'm not going to do anything on my eyes just because i'm literally going to be sweating so i don't want to put mascara on another thing ever since i've gotten my wisdom teeth out i can't get lash extensions i don't know what it is but like this eye from these wisdom teeth i got all four taken out at the same time mind you and they were all impacted so i had to get them cut i did not have to get them pulled like they had to like cut my gums open and my jaw down here whatever happens with my eye with the lash extension it causes so much pressure i literally get an eye infection every single time i've tried it three times at this point so i've given lashes up i've just given lashes up i've just accepted it lash extensions were literally so wonderful to me but now we have to do strips which is fine because that's like low maintenance and it's like a low time frame so i don't get that irritation but um for the pool we're not doing all of that because i'm going to literally sweat it off so we're just going to crimp our lashes my lashes have grown 
significantly, which I am appreciative of. So yeah, I just really don't give a flying anymore about um, my hair. And I do want it to be healthy. I am going to a professional. If you can afford a professional, um, shout out to Teddy. Teddy will be doing my hair on Friday. I will also have his information linked down below. It's a lot of links, but it's okay. But Teddy's a great professional. If you are in Philadelphia, I will have him linked down below. He like specializes in extensions and natural hair and coloring and those different things. And I've literally known Teddy pretty much almost all of my life. He was actually trained under my former uh, hairstylist who passed away, RIP to Crystal, loved her so much, she was like family to me. But um, he's, he's really, really great and he has his own salon and it's super clean and it's super professional and you're in and out and nobody got time for all the extra stuff. So shout out to Teddy, check him out. I will have his links down below, but he's doing that on Friday. Let's get into the lip product. This is the final product by Merit. And this is the Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil and this is in Cara Cara. And let's see, this is a little swatchy swatch. Oh, she's thick, honey. Yes, we love her. She is nice and thick. It's giving like a little bit of an orange tint. I went for like the more peachy colors, peachy golden, because I just feel like since I'm high yellow, that would just work better with my skin. She's pretty. I am gonna go over it um, just because it's not, mm. So I wouldn't really say a lip oil. I wouldn't really call it a lip oil. It's giving me more of like liquid lipstick vibes. So I'm gonna go over it with a more hydrating. This is the NYX. Uh, juice gloss lip oil these have been sold out everywhere but they're so good i got on this trend before it was even a trend on tiktok these are so good if you can find them online get them in every single shade because they're so great so this is more lip oil to me which is more hydrating okay now we're talking the combo the combo is there great 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 it's still giving natural it's still giving cute so i'm not going to set with anything but this is the final this is the final look I hope that you like it a lot. As you can see, it's still giving natural. It's still giving like summer, like kiss glow, but it's not giving like makeup, which I, that hasn't been my vibe either lately. Less is totally more. I absolutely love these Merit products. Once again, shout out to Merit for providing the products today and sponsoring this video. I will have the 10% off code down below and all of their information as well. So you can purchase online or at Sephora online or in store. But yeah, we've pretty much talked about everything. Um, the only other thing, oh, I got asked too. Am I dating? Do I still have a boyfriend? Am I like, what's going on with that? I've been single for six months now. I've been single literally since my birthday. January 10th, I've been single. For a season, I was in a relationship. I was very happy within that relationship, but life happens, things change, people want different things, and that's okay. And we kind of just mutually decided to end that relationship. Well, I more so mutually decided on my part that we were going to end that relationship. And um, that was in January. I've been single with no intention of being in a relationship for the last six months. I kind of just took that time to focus on me get myself together and refocus on my goals and what i want aligned within a relationship it's kind of hard because when you're in a relationship that you thought like was going to be the last one like i genuinely thought like i was going to get married with that person like i genuinely thought like could not have told me different otherwise and it didn't work out and that just shows that that's life and we make plans and God laughs and here we are. So six months later, it is about to be July on next Friday. And I've decided that I'm gonna start dating. I have decided that I am. I have not been dating or like if I went on dates, it's been very casual and fun and like no intention on like further dating that person or like being in a relationship with them. It's just like, I knew them, they're fun. We went out, had a good time. And I went home like a child of God. That was pretty much it. But now I'm looking more so about to be 27 in six months, which I know some people it's like, that's not old, but to me, like I was just 18 and like that's, I'm getting up there. Um, I'm closer to 30 than I am 20 now. I'm looking to date with intention and not waste my time. And I don't think in the last six months that I've, I've necessarily wasted my time. I just think I was having fun, which I think I needed because when you're in a relationship where you think you're literally going to get married, it could be very serious and it doesn't always like, it's not always fun. So I think the last six months me having fun, like with people, with friends, with family, I needed that, but I needed that breather. But now six months later, I feel like I just am at a point where if you're not looking for the things that I'm looking for or like on the track of that, like just don't waste my time because I'm only looking to date with intention. And I think that's okay. And if that's not what somebody's looking for, it's totally fine, I'm not judging them, it's just not for me. And if that is something that they're looking for and they also are looking to date with intention, then it's for me. And we'll see and we'll try it out. I'm not going in like, oh, is this my husband or is, 
If you do that, you need to reassess your life and get you together because there's some things you have to work out before you if you're asking those questions like meeting strangers. I'm going in with it that this person that I'm dating or like constantly going on dates or like investing and in getting to know them is looking for eventually marriage and kids and just like the same type of like alignment that I want with my life because if it's not it's a waste and it's okay it's just not for me and I think at a certain level of maturity like you really get honest with yourself of what you want what you're looking for what you're willing to accept what you're not willing to accept and if it doesn't align with those things you just kind of move on and I just think like I said it's a level of maturity like when you're younger you're just really looking to have fun when you're getting close to 30 and like in your 30s you're really looking for somebody that's just down for you and wants to build and that's where that's where your girl's at so that's about dating just to clear up anything that anybody might have had questions no i am 100 percent single i'm not in a relationship anymore um that season right now is over the fun season is also over and i'm just looking for everything in my life but specifically for dating for everything to be intentional and not waste my time <laughs> so yeah that is the chit chat get ready with me oh also club fresco follow my brother's brand um i love his t-shirts so much if you see on the back i'll kind of lift my hair up but uh security on the back his t-shirts are literally so comfortable and his brand in general he has sweatpants he has jackets he has everything i'll have his links down below gosh darn that's a lot of links but i'll have his links down below as well but go check out club fresco i love fresh he is like literally one of the loves of my life like that is like my brother like blood could not make us any closer like my mother loves him like a son like check out his brand his stuff is amazing but that is it for the chit chat you're ready with me with youtube with the consistency of the brand and of social media and posting and content and etc um i really want to try these next six months to be as consistent as possible. My goal is two videos a week, probably on a Wednesday and a Sunday. I don't know if Sunday will be a vlog or not. I will not be vlogging every week. My life is not that popping to be vlogging every single week. Um, it's pretty boring to be honest, but my goal is to post twice on Instagram, twice on YouTube. I feel like I can maintain that with my schedule now. And I've also had such a long sabbatical and break that I'm ready to get back into content and those things. And it's always little signs. Like even though I've been gone literally for six months, brands are still reaching out to me and like still wanting to work with me. And that just shows me like the content that I produce, you guys wanna see, brands wanna see and work with. So next six months, we're gonna go hard. We're gonna get the algorithm back on track. So please make sure to follow me on Instagram, subscribe down below so you can see all of my content here. I promise you these next six months, I'm really trying to be consistent because I want to see where this can go. Where where we can grow and we're growing even when I'm not doing anything so if I really put you know myself like invested into this I want to see what we can do in six months so that is it for this video it is super long and I have to edit this today Saturday so I'm gonna go to the pool and then I'm going to pour a glass of wine and edit this later I'm glad that you all are here if you made it to the end of the video I really truly appreciate you for taking the time to watch this and that's really it I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video bye